My name is Sassar Shields. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm the maintenance supervisor in Delta Company, 4th of the 227, 1st Air Cavalry Brigade. I was born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. At age 17, I migrated to the United States where I enrolled in Monroe Business College for a year. College just wasn't quite what I thought it was gonna be, so I enlisted in the United States Army as a 15 Romeo, which is an Apache mechanic. I'm currently the maintenance supervisor in the maintenance platoon. Our job is to do the scheduled and unscheduled maintenance for H64 Apaches. I joined at age 19, and it was walking in the footsteps of my brother that had joined a year, two years prior and became a 15 Tango, which is a Blackhawk mechanic. It is something that we talked about growing up as kids being helicopter mechanics. So I saw that after doing that. Me and my brother were two years apart. In Jamaica, growing up, we didn't get many channels. And, but for some reason, we always got the Army commercial channels, and back then it was the all you could be. And I remember me and him sitting down and just talking about what it would be like if we were ever to join the Army and what it is we'll try to accomplish. And it, it, it's just amazing that 10 years later, we look back, you know, as kids, talking about it and now we're living. As kids, it was always interesting. We looked at um, helicopters and like, I wonder how that worked, you know? It just seemed that helicopters defy gravity and we just always try to figure out exactly what made it not take itself apart. I became NCO in June of 2004 after OIF-1, which I started out as a PFC while deployed. I went to the board, and soon after I redeployed, I made cutoff score becoming E-5. It was an exhilarating feeling. It, it, it felt like immediately after I got pinned E-5, the respect factor went through the roof. I finally felt some of the, the, the weight or the stresses that my squad leaders felt when they were tasking us out for the details that we did. Hey, I love my job. I'm an Apache mechanic. It is beautiful. It just seems like the more rank I get, it, it more it pulls me away from the aircraft. My job is more, mostly supervising. I, I guide and direct young soldiers in, in the job that I love so much, which is turning wrenches on an H-64 Apache. Mostly now, uh, uh, my job is just to stand back and give guidance. So I stepped back from being, actually being the wrench turner to being the one that teaches soldiers how to turn the wrench. If it wasn't for the NCO, the soldier wouldn't have any idea why they're doing their mission. They, they teach them from past experiences, and they, they actually let the soldiers learn from the mistakes they have made and things they can do better and how to effectively use their time. The most rewarding feeling for me was sitting at the airfield at West Fort Hood and an old student of mine, when I was an instructor, came up to me and said, because of you, I am do what I do and I love it. Being the backbone of the Army is a very humbling thing because you know the mission success pivots on your leadership style and your leadership abilities. To my fellow NCOs, I'd like to say, take a look in the mirror and you know, reevaluate why it is you wear the stripes. Ensure that everything you do is living the NCO creed. Take care of your soldiers, lead from the front, and do what the mission requires. Everything, everything we experience as NCOs is a direct reflection of the soldiers' hard work and their dedication to the mission. That is the challenge us NCOs are faced with, is to make sure we do right by our soldiers and we have their best interests at heart.